Hi again, I'm still here with my die cutter and um, just wanting to show you how you can do your envelopes uh, using just the stencils. Um, just to sort of change it up a little bit, I thought I would use another one of my stencils. I'm so sorry, I wouldn't be able to tell you who it's by. Um, but anyway, these are the envelopes that um, I'm hoping I've got a tutorial that I I have been doing a lot of filming with my um, um, coffee staining and using metallic golds and doing all sorts of groovy things. So these are my envelopes. So I hope I've done that. Oh my goodness. Um, so do look out for that. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to do some more on how I get these really pretty effects. So I hope you can see. I'm sorry if I'm out of focus, so like I said, I'm having a bit of trouble with my <laughs> with this, and especially when there's few different heights, it can sort of muck it up. Okay, so I've got some coffee stained cardstock, um, the cream on this side, I just never got around to doing the other side, but I just thought I'll use that. And if we need it, we can use some more because the, these papers are quite fine. So if I need to jack it up, I can with this. Uh, um, but yeah, so I might actually do that. I might just jack it up with this. And remember when you're layering, you may as well get all your papers that you would like emboss because it will penetrate as I was showing you before um, with that. Alright, so, oh, that's right, we were going to do this one. Um, so I might do it on an angle if it will let me. So that's the thing, some of your stencils might not fit because I think this is just a little one, this one here. So all I'm doing now is this is going to fit on here yep okay so I'm now going to line this up okay so I've got um, two card stocks they're not that heavy um, but yeah got two card stocks and I've got an envelope okay so this is this is struggling. So I'm loosening it up, but what I might do is I'll just sort of tear this one in half. Just bear with me while I do that. Just get it on the edge of the table. Okay. It's a bit rough, but that's alright. Grab this one here. Excuse me. Alright, so we're going to do it again. Just lay it down. I want to be able to get the whole thing through. Okay. So. Okay, there we go. So don't worry. Sometimes it can be a little bit... Um, I think I've got it very crooked so always make sure you line it up um, so I probably didn't need that extra piece but I think I haven't lined it up very well so I'm gonna just go back like I said I'm not I'm not an expert <laughs> at using this I'm just showing you what I do so we'll just do the two and there you go there's your embossing your dry embossing and that's just using a stencil without no folder nothing okay and it should have come out on the back and it did quite beautifully so that's that one really pretty so let's do another one let's go back to maybe we can do this one here this gold one and um, I'll have to make sure I line everything up as well. Now, your card stock, this is, I didn't choose a very good card stock, did I? But your card stock, see? 
there's a little bit there too but that's why just make sure you line whatever papers you're using to jack up your embossing so that it really works make sure you have cardstock that you can use again in your craft projects all right let's see what we can do so I'm going to do that again um, so probably do it this way um, let's see let's just experiment with just the this and um, uh, no you know what I'm going to go with this one again I just think it's so elegant so I might do it this way that's the envelope there and I'm going to do it this way so where are we let's see if this will work it may not it might be just very very faint but I'll make sure I line this up a bit properly uh, I think there's a little bit of a bow in here uh, I, I I'm sure it's because I'm sure people that are professionals at using this um, will probably be going, What are you doing? Sorry about that. Okay, now it's going through, um, but we might have to do a few goes. So all I've done is I've got two, I've got one cardstock folded and just the actual. Um, envelope so I'm doing it a few times you're going to have to count because I've lost count <laughs> sorry I'm knocking my dry board and I'm sorry if I'm out of focus again I do apologize okay okay let's grab it doesn't that look gorgeous just like that it would look great with um, me stamping it that way but anyway Yep, there you go. So I got away with that with um, just this folded in half. Because it is a lightweight paper, that's the thing. If you're using cardstock, it would be different. Um, but the impression is there. So let's have a close up. And there you go. It's really, really pretty. Um, looking through the viewfinder it doesn't always give me a really good idea but when you look at it in real life it is so stunning um, so yeah so I'll be showing you how I um, well I hope I've got my tutorial I'm sure I did it on how I get my effects of my gold and my coffee staining um, yeah so this one's come out a little bit more subtle than the others the other I should say um, but still it's there and I could go over it again so another thing I could do uh, let's oh sorry I was I out of focus again sorry okay another thing you could do so say you've got one of these um, similar stencils to me let's go back down here so what you could do is um, you could go over it again and do it that way or you might have something a little bit smaller so that you can put another one in the corner there or you could do it on the back so you could have your envelopes maybe we could do that uh, no I think I'm going to run out of time but that's a, a suggestion um, if you wanted to have something at the back just do it on the opposite side of what you've done there so that would look really pretty I can imagine alright everyone or if you just wanted to do the envelope but just remember how you place it because it's not like you've got tons of space to pull it through because you don't want to damage your stencil so be careful that your papers line up and your plates line up so that you don't kind of run into the pro such problems all right everyone thank you so much for coming to my show and share and as always please take care thank you bye